In today's fast-paced world, the ability to rapidly evaluate and act on information is critical to success. The new Integrated Reasoning section of the GMAT exam is designed to help you gauge how well your applicants can use multiple sources of data to make smart and informed decisions. Hello, I'm Ashok Sarathi, Vice President of the GMAT program at the Graduate Management Admission Council. Welcome to the third video in our series of programs examining the four new question formats we have created for the Integrated Reasoning section. This new section will launch in June 2012. In this video, we will look at the table analysis question type. This unique format borrows from the concept that has made the computer spreadsheet indispensable in management and more specifically in business. That is, the ability to instantly sort data and interpret the results as well as the implications. Test takers will encounter tables of numbers and other information on table analysis questions. They will need to sort and analyze that data to answer a series of questions. Individuals will also need to draw inferences and filter out information that may be superfluous. This sample table analysis question presents nine sortable columns of data and several statements that test the ability to identify relationships between various categories of information. The test taker must be able to efficiently assimilate and manipulate the data to determine the correct answers. An individual's ability to handle table analysis questions combined with his or her performance on other types of integrated reasoning questions, will give you a clear sense of how well that potential student can use multiple sources of information to spot patterns and draw logical conclusions. The integrated reasoning score will be distinct from the quantitative, verbal, analytical writing, and total scores on a person's GMAT score report. GMAC conducted surveys of hundreds of business school faculty around the world to find out what additional abilities they wanted the GMAT to measure. They told us that integrated reasoning skills are a key part of the foundation people need to thrive in business school and beyond. We have been talking to the industry and to get their sense of what is it that they expect students to have. And one of the very big uh, the items that comes on the list is integrated thinking. What's happening today is that people are inundated with information from a wide variety of sources. So as we get all these multiple sources of data being thrown at you continuously, how quickly and how sensibly do you integrate that data becomes a very important factor in your success as a leader. Individuals who have taken part in field trials of GMAT integrated reasoning questions are enthusiastic about the new section. So the, the way that the integrated reasoning was presented with the different forms of data and the multiple forms of data on one question, you gotta, kind of got to go from tab to tab, it, it made it more challenging and probably more realistic in the sense that it, it didn't give you all the information on one sheet. you got to kind of piece together a lot of different pieces of information in order to formulate a complete response, a complete understanding of the question. In the world we live in where information is being gathered rapidly and really anyone has access to a variety of information from so many different sources, to be a successful business person and ultimately a success, successful executive, you can't just rely on one source. Uh, it's important to be able to gather information from a lot of different sources. And frankly, it, you're not, we're not in a position anymore where you, someone can just be a marketing person or a R&D person. You really have to be everything, I think, to be successful. I think a test like the integrated reasoning section of the GMAT offers that because you're given information from a lot of different sources and you have to synthesize that yourself. Um, some people are good at math, some people are good at writing, but to be a good executive, you need to have all of the skills at your disposal and you need to know when to use what. In the next installment in our video series about integrated reasoning, we'll examine the two-part analysis question format. You can find out more about the next generation GMAT at gmat.com slash nextgen. If you have any questions, please email us at nextgengmat at gmac.com.